Hello and welcome to another Spass Kangaroo tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you about drivers. Drivers are a way to change the properties of one object by changing the properties of another. So there's the driver object and the target object. You add the driver, uh, which is basically a little Python expression, to the target object and then you move the driver object around to um, affect the target. And that was a little bit of a word soup, <laughs> but um, you'll see in a minute. So let's just do a basic driver, and we're going to go into scripting mode actually, so uh, scripting layout, because that will make the Python uh, expressions easier to write later on. So I'm just going to turn on the graph editor over here and uh, slide that out. Okay. So, the way you create a driver is you go to a property, and in this case, we're just going to do a basic location driver. We're going to right click on the driver, and we're going to select add single driver. So, now we're going to, uh, there's a driver on the x location of this object, and we can add this with any other property of this object. Let me just name this correctly. Driver target. Well, actually, this is the target technically because it's targeting um, some property over here. The driver is really the bit in between. So, target. We're going to name this the receiver. Sorry for changing that analogy right halfway through the tutorial, but um, I just thought of a better way to explain it. So um, this receiver is going to use a driver to grab this target, and we're going to our target's going to be the X location. So we're going to go into driver mode on the graph editor and pop open our properties panel using N. Okay, so just select your driver from the side over here and scroll down to the driver panel. All right. So let me just uh, scale this in so it's easier to view. And our target is going to be it's going to be targeting the transform channel of our target object and it's going to be grabbing the x location. So now we move, uh, wait, we've got to um, create an expression first. Let's just add the variable plus the current location. So it's now copying the x location. We don't even need to add that, we can just say var. What this expression is doing is it's, um, you're, creating a, you're creating a variable right here. We're going to name this one x lock. You can name it whatever you want as long as you put the same name in the expression, x lock. So what it's doing is it's taking the x location of this receiver object using the driver and assigning the exact same x location of this object. You can do, um, with this expression, you can do crazy things then. You could maybe find the sign of the x location right here. And then when we move back and forth, it will go back and forth in a sine wave. So uh, that's cool. Um, but let's get on to some more advanced stuff now. First of all, uh, let's just remove this driver right here. And we're now going to affect this object with the alpha of this object. So this probably would never be used in real life, but I'm just showing that you can use any property to affect the object. So let's um, give this guy a material first. Give our target a material. Uh, enable transparency. I'm not going to render this or anything, but uh, you'll see when I drag the slider around. And we're going to add a driver to this object. How about this time we adjust its scale? right so it's going to be the how about the x scale or well we added drivers for all of them uh, but we can only we can 
only affect one of them if we want. So we're going to choose the X scale. Our target is going to be the target. And instead of using a transform ch channel, we're going to choose single property. Now we're going to choose what type of ID block. Um, that's uh, the basically the area of Blender that the property can be found in. So th in this case, it's material. We're going to choose our material. So that's our material right here. And we're going to choose a path. This is the data path, um, RNA path. So we're going to find the RNA path by right clicking on the, ob on the target property and clicking copy data path. Um, they use RNA path, data path. Um, they're the same thing though. So just copy that and then paste it in here. In this case, it was a simple alpha, but in some cases, it's a little bit more confusing. Anyway, just copy it. So now we can change this object's location with the alpha. It's not going to update immediately. I'm not sure why. This may be a bug with drivers or something. Um, but sometimes, if you adjust a property and it doesn't update, just click this button right here, update dependencies. Once again, I forgot to add the expression, so let's change that to var, and you will see it scales. So let's scale that again. Back to the regular size. Let's scale this down. And if we update it once more, there we go. So this is really awesome. Um, you can do a lot of things with drivers. Uh, so we're going to get to some more advanced Python expressions now. So the expressions take place in this little expr box right here. Um, before, we would just assign a variable to it. But you can uh, actually enter a real number. So let's set it to point 0.1. There's no way to edit this number unless you edit the expression right here, but it's possible. You can do any kind of math or uh, mathematical expression here using variables that you have right here or just using variables that you grab from data you grab from the actual scene so we can uh, we could do something like 2 plus frame and point 0.2 plus frame which is the current frame and then when we go forwards we will get a lot of rotation as you can see in this spot um, because it's adding the current frame to the number Point two, so um, you can access that. That uh, you can access data that way. There are a few built-in uh, variables here. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't know all of them, and there are a bunch. So uh, I can't find anything in the documentation either. So I'm not sure about all of them. But we can access it using good old uh, bpy dot data dot uh, bpy dot dot data dot whatever so we could use I don't know oh scenes whoops I didn't mean to add a tab there let's go back uh, scenes scene dot okay now we can grab any one of these so let's grab screencast mm, now let's not use that that's a little bit funny let's use frame end so this will use the end frame uh, for the um, animation so currently it's at 250 so if we copy the same data uh, the same code right here into the expression it will set the rotation to 250 um, in case you don't know how what I was doing here this is the uh, blender Python cut this is the Blender Python console, so you can uh, access all of Blender from in here. And it has auto, um, what's it called? Autocomplete, <laughs> that's it. Um, Autocomplete if you press shift space, I mean, control space. And on Mac it's still control space, not command space. 
Um, so it's B everything's stored in bpy dot data dot scene, and I press tab again. I'm used to tab completion. Um, control space scenes, and then if you just press control space again, it will grab the current scene or uh, the first scene. I'm not sure which, um, and then dot and whatever data you want from in here. So you can grab a lot of like, um, well, let's like, grab something about the camera. Camera dot appears that the camera's dimensions don't exist. It doesn't have any dimensions. And indeed it doesn't. Um, let's grab the uh, mesh over beside it then mesh no dot object oops object oh I'm in the wrong you have to hover over the um, correct panel objects which one is it target dot dimensions there we go finally something with dimensions dot x okay that's something we can use Sorry, <laughs> that took a while. Um, so now if we adjust the dimensions along the x-axis and update the dependencies, it will update. So, um, yeah, that's, the, uh, that's how to use Python expressions. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to create functions in Python. Um, in the text editor over here that we can then use in our drivers. Uh, so it's essentially taking a it's essentially a way to take long expressions um, with complex math uh, that and simplify it so it's easier to put in the expr box over here. So let's just create a function here. Uh, let's see. We'll take the dimension and then. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have any ideas. We'll just do a basic expression over here and just uh, show that you can do it over there. So, oh, we'll do something with the current frame as well. So, whoops. All right. So def do something. We're going to take a variable. Uh, if you don't know what Python is or how to use it, I'd recommend go watching a tutorial right now on that. I'm can't explain how to program uh, this entire thing in I don't know short decent amount of time so I'll just try to explain what I'm doing right now so you get so you understand what's going on but if you really want to know how to do this you're gonna have to uh, learn Python so what we're doing is we're creating a thing called a function which is a shortened piece of code that we're going to be using as our expression it's named do something and we're going to take in a variable that we will then use later on. So then we're going to add a colon here, and now we have our, um, we're editing the function right now. This is inside the function. So we're just going to take the dimension and divide it by, whoops, divide it by the variable that is passed in. Whoops, oh, come on. Scrolling in BP and the editor is really weird okay so then var divided by var which is this variable up here I know this is something you can already do with uh, expressions but I'm just showing that it's possible to create functions as well uh, and I forgot to add a return statement here uh, make sure you do that otherwise you will not get anything back from that function all right so let's just add a few backspaces here and now we're going to uh, make that function available in the driver section and we're going to make this accessible by putting it in the driver bpy.app.driver underscore shoot I don't auto correct on one sec I need to look this up quickly uh, bpy.app.driver underscore namespace that's it namespace uh, okay whoops namespace 
Oh, these are all the functions you have in there. Well, that's cool. This is all the variables. So if you want to uh, find those, just say bpy dot app dot driver underscore namespace uh, b uh, begin bracket begin bracket begin col um whatever you call that quotation um, and then you have all the functions that you have in here. That's cool. All right, sorry, I'm getting off track here. Namespace and then we're gonna create a new one called uh, do something and we're gonna assign it to do something don't ask semicolon I'm getting used to JavaScript alright oops this isn't supposed to be um, parentheses it's supposed to be a uh, bracket so there now if we run this I messed something up once what did I do wrong do something I think I might have to put no. Is there anything in this console up here? No, it just says look at the <laughs> console. Um, let's see. Ah, oh, and it's of course because I forgot to import BPY. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and remove those parentheses at the end. That's not what does it. Okay, so run script, and now it should be in here, so we can do something and we're going to import the current frame so that's going to grab the current frame and divide it by the dimensions of the object so there we go you see it is working all right I won't be able to post as many tutorials in the future couple of weeks uh, months actually because school started again uh, I won't be able to post like every week or every other week. I'll try to at least post once a month, hopefully more than that. Um, but I might slip down to every two weeks or every three weeks. So, um, yeah, just a heads up. Anyway, I've also started another channel, uh, the Ninja Charlie, in case you didn't see my announcement video already, uh, where I am doing gaming videos. Anyway, I'll have an annotation on screen here, and that's it. So thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials, and I will see you all later.